Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hope everybody had a good weekend. It's cold. It's cold, but it's going to be warm. I hope so. 70 degree weather right around the corner. That's good. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I got to spend it with you. It was your birthday. It was my birthday. That was fun. It was fun. Although was. his mom bought um, some chocolate cake, and so we each had a little piece of chocolate cake, and oh, it was not good. Our stomachs not, were It was good. It was yummy. Yes. But our stomachs were so frustrated right. with us, so annoyed with us. Yes. So that was, that was definitely disappointing. Yeah. But uh, how was your workout? Workout was good. Today was a very active workout day. I started off with my... Uh, 10 minute cardio blitz. Oh, good. And then I did chest, biceps, forearms, and calves. You didn't tell me you were doing calves. No wonder I you were late. I snuck it in there. No, you were late. <laughs> <laughs> I did back today and then I did some stretching because I'm trying to, you know, hopefully my back and hip are going to be better. Hopefully. I yeah. don't know if it's going to help, but we're trying. Yes. So um, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about the power of plants to uh, increase performance legally. Legally, right. So I have to talk first a little bit. I've shared a little bit before about um, how nitric oxide helps our uh, endothelial cells, which are the cells that line the blood vessels, helps them work better to expand our blood vessels and allow blood to flow better. Right. So the whole point of the plants that we're gonna talk about is that they help your endothelial cells because they produce the um, plants help produce nitric oxide so that your cells, your arteries expand better and blood flows better. So what they found was that it allows athletes to perform longer with less oxygen. Right. Because the blood is doing a more effective job of getting the oxygen where it needs to go. Exactly. So that's what we wanted to talk about a little bit. Did you have some notes you wanted to share? Uh, we can just I go. Just I mean, I'm gonna, it? So really, my, my whole fascination with it is how it talks about um, doping with beats. Yeah. So basically, I'm sure everybody with Neil, with Neil Armstrong, listen to me. <laughs> Lance. <laughs> Lance Armstrong with the whole doping thing and whatnot, uh, how they blood dope. Well, you can get a similar effect by Explain just... Explain blood doping though, what that is. So blood doping is when they when they remove blood from, them, from their body, oxygen, oxygenate it, and then put it back into their body, which gives them more endurance. Mm -hmm. uh, they call it blood doping. Um, this is basically this, uh, you're getting a similar effect by what they say athletes will eat. Um, I think it's a half a cup of beet juice, mm -hmm. two, I mean, four to six hours prior to the competition, mm -hmm. and they get the similar effect. So, we're basically talking about vegetables on steroids here. <laughs> kind of the same thing. Right. So, apparently, the, the enzyme in our bodies that produce nitric oxide, um, its enemy is free radicals. And we've talked before about free radicals and how, and you've probably heard it, that they're really hard on your body. But interestingly, free radicals not only gobble up nitric oxide, but it can hijack the nitrous oxide um, synthesis process and force it to start pumping out more free radicals, right. which obviously is not what you want to have happen. Exactly. And so if you don't have enough nitric oxide in your body, your arteries will get stiff. They won't be dysfunctional. It raises your blood pressure and then you end up at the risk of heart attack. And so if you already have high blood pressure, the vegetables that we're gonna tell you about will also help with that, not just with making you um, better as an athlete, but if you have high blood pressure, it'll help reduce your blood pressure. Right. So, go ahead. I was just gonna say, so I said a half a cup of beet juice. They also say you can eat three three-inch beets, which sounds like a lot to me, um, or a cup of cooked spinach. Right, so they have they listed ten things, and these are in the order. Um, beets being number ten, so beets are really good for you. Beet juice is really good for you, but beet juice is apparently I've never even seen it. Like, they they claim that it's hard to it's find. It's hard to find. Yeah. So you can do beet juice. Um, Swiss chard is really good for nitric oxide. Oak leaf lettuce, which I've never heard of. I don't no. know what that is. We're pixelating. Um, Let's see if it fixes itself. Beet greens. So obviously, if you're going to buy beets, buy them with the greens on them. So that you can uh, you can eat the greens as well. Basil, which I love basil, so that's cool. Oh, it stopped. She said that's good. Oh, yay! yay good. <laughs> good morning, Laura. Morning, Laura. Um, musclin greens, butter leaf lettuce, which butter leaf lettuce is super yummy. That's yeah. a really yeah, it's it's a really sweet lettuce. It's really I've good. I've never had it. Cilantro, which I don't like. I feel like cilantro um, cilantro tastes like mold to me. But yes, you have that. Reaction. I don't like that. 
Uh, rhubarb, I don't like rhubarb either. I won't be eating that. And then arugula. So arugula is fine. And arugula is number one on the list. Now, it doesn't say how much of this stuff you have to eat, but I would say if you're eating it consistently, that that's, gonna, that's, that's gonna, gotta yeah. be good for you. Right. Um, it also says that there's a veggie Viagra, Viagra effect because obviously if your if your cells not your cells, your, your, bloods, your yeah. blood's flowing better it's right. going to flow better to all the fun, all the functions where blood is necessary exactly. so it can um, help with um, sexual function also it improves the blood to the uh, to the brain which is obviously important so he makes the point that Lamborghinis go faster not because the fuel they have is different. You can put really fancy fuel in a lemon and it's not it's still, still not, not gonna, gonna go, go fast because yes. the engine's not good. It can't use the fuel. Exactly. But if you if you take really good um, fuel and feed your body, it can go faster because it you have the engine that can function as as a Lamborghini can. Right. So what does she say? Both places, yes. The brain and the sexual organs is right. an important place. Well, you know, if you really think about what they say about men and yeah, <laughs> no, so, let's not go so there. So, you know, I think it makes sense. <laughs> Listen to you, no? no, that's what I thought. Anyway, so um, and this is how it, this is also from the book of How Not to Die. Oh, how Not to Die, yeah. And well, it's a section on how way. not to die from high blood pressure. Um, so yeah, if you're eating, if you're eating those fo foods, I can talk. If you're eating those foods, they're going to. Um, Increase the nitric oxide in your system, which is going to help your blood vessels dilate the way they should, which is going to get more oxygen more quickly to the places that it needs to be. So they have some stats here that I wanted to try and, um, and share with you. It says that after um, sipping on beet juice, cyclists were able to perform at the same level of intensity while consuming 19% less oxygen than the placebo group. So the intensity was the same, but the oxygen Levels use was, yeah. was less, which right. means that they were being um, more efficient with the oxygen they had. I could not find the word efficient. Had yeah. to think about that. Um, and then they have something they call severe cycling, where you go as hard as you can. And it said that the time to exhaustion um, was extended without any beet juice. They were doing nine minutes and 43 seconds, and I can't imagine going all out for, for nine that, minutes and 43 like seconds. Lot, I'm yes. not that good of a cyclist. But it was extended with beet juice to 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Which, which is huge. That's a lot. That's like a minute and a half. Right. So that's pretty impressive, I would say. Or right. almost like 10% better performance, which any athlete can, can increase their performance by 10%. Yeah. When, so, when they lose by milliseconds. Right. You know? I would definitely see, say that those of you who um, are runners or athletes who watch us, I know there are several of you, I would recommend start taking in these kind of foods, if not consistently, at least the day before and, the, and maybe the morning of your event. Right. Because, you know, anything that you can do to increase the uh, nitric oxide in your system no, not and it says it says you can take nitric oxic supplements, but that they don't seem to work as well, and that they are not necessarily safe. Right. So and it's the same situation where you're taking a substance out of nature, right, and concentrating it and giving it to you, you know, to somebody. Where if you take it through these vegetables, you're getting it how it's meant to be absorbed in the package, which is what's important. How yeah. your body is meant to take these uh, these nutrients and use them, right? With all the other nutrients that are associated with it. Right, it's exactly. One big happy family. So it, it says, I'm going to read you this this one paragraph. To maximize athletic performance, the ideal dose and timing appears to be half a cup of beet juice, or as Russ mentioned, three three inch beets, or a cup of cooked spinach, two to three hours before competition. So you know, we always we're always hearing about people who are doping and trying to do things illegally. I think that athletes need to start, you know, eating some Swiss chard and some well, arugula. Right, right. Because I think we, we believe that you need something artificial to, to get an advantage. Right. And there just seems to be a lot of natural, legal, non-drug failing things out there. Right. You know, I don't fruit. think they're gonna fail you for drinking beet juice. Right. I think that one would be hard pressed. Yes. Yes, you do have to read this book. It's phenomenal. Yes. Um, go if you're going to order it. If you would be so kind, do go to our website to the resources page and order it through there. It won't cost you any more, but um, it'll give us a couple of pennies right. for having shared. That helps it. us keep the website. Help going. us keep the website up and right. stuff. So if you do order it, please if you do it through the through the resources page on our website, that would be awesome. 
But yeah, so we wanted to share that with you, that um, there's some things you can do to enhance your uh, athletic performance. And if you do have high blood pressure, these things are going to help your, your body uh, get rid of some of the stiffness in your right. arteries and your veins so that they have a chance to uh, function the way they're supposed to. So I'll read that list again from 10 to 1. Beets, Swiss chard, oak leaf lettuce, beet greens, basil, musculine greens, butter leaf lettuce, cilantro, rhubarb, and arugula. I highly recommend you go out and get some of those some of those foods because they will be uh, they will be really good. They'll for you. charge you up. Yeah. yeah. And you know, help you lower your blood pressure. <laughs> what more could you want? That's all good, yeah, right? absolutely. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Did you have anything you wanted to add? Um no, you covered it. Your notes, yes, this many notes. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Her notes are like twenty five pages. Mine are like, yeah. <laughs> and basically all my notes are all about the whole, you know, uh, doping with beet juice. Yeah, he's super excited <laughs> about that. Exactly. Um, tomorrow we are going to talk about low carb diets. Right. We have we, on the way up and back to Russ's mother's yesterday for his birthday lunch. We were listening to the book The China Study, right. and he has a whole section on low carb diets. So right. tomorrow we're going to talk about that and share information with you about right. them, about why they do help you lose weight over the short term and why they're very dangerous in the yeah. long and term. They, and they're not. It's impossible to keep them long term. It's not mm -hmm. a lifestyle. No. It's so a, we're going to lose we weight. talk about it tomorrow. We talk about it tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are getting value out of these videos please do like and share them because that helps us reach more people and that is our ultimate goal that's right um, and I will I will definitely continue to take notes on things so that if you guys become a member of our website you can read my notes and quotes so if you're if you're not getting it all when we talk here or you miss a day or whatever whenever I read a book I do take a lot of notes and then I type them up and we put them on the notes and quotes page as I um, as on they're on the resource page and there's a button that says notes and quotes right. on there that if you click on it and you're and you're signed in as a member you'll be able to read and they're literally just my bullet point here's here are the right. things that I thought were important but keep in mind folks my bullet points are about that much her bullet points are like 16 pages <laughs> I write down stuff that's interesting <laughs> But it's still better than reading a 500 page book. Yeah, definitely still easier than reading. And then, you know, if you find it interesting, you would, certainly I would encourage you to read the five, yes. 500 page book. Yeah. How many pages is this book? This is a very, very long book. It's about four or 500 pages, I think. We won't count the index. Right. Let's see. Which is huge. The index is very long in this book, but which is good because I've used it to actually look stuff up. So this book is 410 pages long, yeah. 411 pages long without the index. So. Not huge if it's a novel, but if it's a science book, it's a very big book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So do like and share. Find us on, uh, like our Facebook page, uh, like our YouTube, all those fun things. Right. And stay in touch if you have uh, questions or things you yeah, want to know about. Yeah, shoot them out there. We'll try to answer them for you. Uh, also, I will mention that tentatively, a week from Friday, we'll be doing a talk. No, it's happening. It's happening. All right. So a week, a week from this Friday, 6 o'clock at the, at the Natural Food Store in Newark, Delaware. That's the 2nd of March. All right. We'll be doing a talk, and we'll also have their vegan chef. We'll, we'll, um, I think the plan is to just demonstrate she, a dish. She, I don't know if she's going to make it for them, but she's definitely going to have it for them right. to taste. Hopefully there'll be a little bit of sample, yeah. um, and as well as a recipe. And the way we want to set it up is if you want to actually make it at home, we're going to have them pre-package all the ingredients. All the ingredients. So you, can you guys just, buy can just do a go. quick check out and go and, and make it at home. Right. So, exactly. Uh, that's going to be exciting. We're um, going to give our talk. Your body can't count calories and neither should you. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, we're so excited. I think that's it. It's going to be fun. And um, I already know a lot of the people who watch us and know us are going to be there. So if you, if you happen to be local, I know a lot of you aren't, but if you happen to be local, uh, the second at six o'clock at the Natural Food Store in Newark, we're going to be uh, giving a talk there. All right. Do you have anything else? Um, we talked about the website. You said share and all that good stuff. <laughs> I think that's all we've got for <laughs> I you. I think that's all we have for you today. It's going to be warm tomorrow. I'm super excited. Right. Exactly. Right. All okay. right. And so with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great we'll day, see guys. You tomorrow. Enjoy it if you're off today. That too. Yes.